Welcome to Leadership in Action, the show. My name is Johnny Wagner. And my name is Samuel Unterstall. And we have some good news for you today. In fact, we have a whole show of good news because that's what we do. Man, am I excited for this episode. And how about you, Sam? I'm right there with you. We have some great stuff on board for today. But first of all, a belated happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And what a Thanksgiving it was. Family, friends, relaxation, and an extra day off. Why the extra day off? Because of our CBC Football State Championship. What a season. Congratulations to Scott Pingle, his coaching staff, and especially the team of players and managers. So cool. As we kick off this episode of LAA, it's time to change seasons. So we'd like to make a warm welcome to our winter sports. Coming off some great athletic success in our fall season, the winter sports are definitely feeling some heat and the drive to compete is real. Thoughts on the team this year is uh, we have a very seasoned team. Uh, we got a lot of eight seniors over here, so I expect you know guys come out here and compete every night. We have show a lot of leadership and um, just have fun and continuity. I think we have a, a really good chance to go deep this year in the playoffs. And so uh, high, high level, a lot of high expectations. The expectations are numbers of young men in the program and uh, the experience that they get. So we want to build the numbers up, which we're getting there. We feel like we've got uh, improved numbers over the last couple of years. We want to keep that. We want to get the numbers up. and. Uh, give these guys a positive experience. Uh, the one thing I think you can expect from us this year is we're, we're real quick. There's a lot of speed on this team. We, we may have lost a little size, a little uh, veteran uh, gumption, if you will, but uh, these kids are moving. There's a lot of speed out there this year. You know, we have a, a big uh, target on our backs after winning state, and uh, I think we're ready for that. I think we're ready for whatever comes, and I uh, uh, just got to keep everybody together and let's get through this season. This year. Well, obviously, we'd love to repeat what we did last year, and I think it just takes everyone buying in. So we expect a lot of everyone, even the underclassmen, upperclassmen, and just buy in as a team. This all season we've been working hard. Uh, we senior heavy, got a lot of seniors on the team. And us being seniors, got to lead by example, uh, lead the younger guys. And the goal this year is win state. And um, expectations for this year, um, I think we shouldn't lose um, in state. Uh, we had a couple of tough games out of state. Um, it goes down to talent uh, versus hard work, so I think we should pull those off. I think we should win state this year, um, most definitely. Good luck to our winter sports teams. Speaking of winter sports, well, maybe not winter sports, but a really cool summer sport guy, St. Louis Cardinals World Series champion John Jay recently visited with our junior leadership class, and he had some awesome words of advice. Work ethic is the number one thing. It'll, it'll make or break you. Like I said, you can be really smart, and you know, not have to study and get away with it and all that, but eventually it's gonna catch up to you. You can be real, the best baseball player, best soccer player, best tennis player, whatever the case may be, but if you, have, if you don't have work ethic, eventually people are gonna outwork you and it's gonna, it's gonna be gone. I'm, I'm working like I've never won a World Series. I'm working like I've never been to the playoffs. I'm, I'm working like I've never had success. Every game's important, everything's important. Why? Because now when it gets to the World Series, nothing has to change. I don't have to say, oh, now I gotta do extra this. Now I gotta. It's almost like when you get to the playoffs, you gotta slow down even more. You know, less is more because you have so much adrenaline, you have so much, you know, there's so much at stake. So that's why it's important for you guys now to practice good habits. You know, good habits, they continue. They continue and they get better. They get better. It's not like, oh, I'm doing all right in school now. Like, I know I'm going to go to this college. I'll do good in college there. No, you start that now and it, it builds, it builds, it builds. And you start stacking up all those chips. My goals were always goals that were attainable. I never worried about, you know, being 16 years old. Like, oh, I want to get drafted in the first round and I want to do this, I want to do that. I was like, no. I need to worry about playing on this varsity baseball team. If I do that, then everything else is going to open the door. The same thing when I went to UM, I said, hey, how am I going to get drafted? If I just play at UM, then I'm going to get drafted. Who knows how high, it depends how I do, all that stuff. But, you know, reaching these goals that are attainable, things that are realistic. And, and it's not saying in the back of my mind, I, I didn't dream of, oh, I want to play in the big leagues. But it was like, all right, what do I got to do today to get to this point? Today, I got to take care of this. Then I got to take care of this. I got to and then you start building all these things up. And then eventually, these opportunities come and, and you're ready for it. It's great seeing him here, and you always know he's going to give an awesome speech. Huge thanks to John Jay. Now, this show has covered a variety of topics, like service, sports, faith, and many more. But today, we're here to talk about leadership, something that we take a tremendous amount of pride in here at CBC. Each CBC student learns in freshman leadership class that leadership is using your influence to make a positive change. And today's episode celebrates the many positive changes being made thanks to the many leaders in and around our community. We asked our Director of Admissions and former leadership class teacher, Jim Brockman, to describe the leadership opportunities here at CBC. 
It was a movement that we actually started several years ago, and we started out of our leadership class. It's the idea that um, no title is needed in order to be a leader. And so I think that's the first thing CBC students need to realize is that we teach our leadership program from the perspective that 100% of students can be great leaders. That's the first thing. Obviously, then we also have formal leadership opportunities. Uh, we've got all of the clubs and organizations that have leadership structures within them. Uh, we have our various sports teams uh, that have leadership structures within those. Of course, we have our ambassador program. We have our freshman mentoring program. Those are all leadership opportunities. Uh, we've got our student leadership council. Uh, we've got our National Honor Society, our academic leaders here at the school. And so there are formal ways to, for students to still get involved through our leadership program. But again, I want to remind everybody that no title is needed. And in many cases, some of our best leaders are kids that don't actually even have any titles at all. Thanks to Mr. Brockman. And Johnny, since we're here talking about leadership, I cannot think of a better way to kick things off than with a video from our very own Student Leadership Council President, Jake Mitchell, and Vice President Patrick Heider. Yeah, so it's been a lot easier coming off of COVID this year, um, putting on events and stuff and getting students there. Like for example, this young man, come here. <laughs> What's your name? Andon. Andon, have you been to an SLC tailgate yet? Uh, yeah. Was it a lot of fun? Yeah. See, it's, it's kids like this that we're here for. Um, I think the biggest thing I've learned through the SLC and kind of my leadership role and being involved with it is definitely just kind of being able to get guys um, that you know are also as passionate kind of in, in the field that you're in and getting those guys to be on your team and really working well with them. And if you can get a group of guys that's dedicated to something, you can get a lot done. So it's really not just about you, but about all the guys kind of around you. Awesome, Jake. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much to Jake, Patrick, Andon, and the SLC for making this year great for the students. After all, it is the year of the bub. All right, just between you and me, man, I still have no clue what that means. I have no clue. What I do know, however, is that those guys are doing a great job, but they're not the only students leading throughout the school. That's exactly right. And as Mr. Brockman mentioned, one fantastic way in which our students can be involved in leading and helping their younger peers is the mentoring program. We interviewed Mrs. O'Connell to talk a bit more on not only what the mentor program is, but also how important it is. The mentor program is for students who are sophomores through seniors, um, and they work with the freshmen, the freshman advisors, and help them get acclimated to CBC. So they're chosen by um, advisors and other adults in the building who see them as you know, potential leaders and good role models for the younger students. And uh, it gives them an opportunity to help them build brotherhood, show them what the community is like here, and just help them uh, transition from eighth grade to freshman year. Well, like I said before, the students are chosen by faculty members who see them as role models for the freshmen. So every day in advisory and outside of advisory, they get to show the freshmen what it means to be a CBC student, um, what we expect of them, what, how we want them to get involved, um, and just how we really want them to become part of the CBC family. You know, our students really wouldn't be able to lead each other in the ways that they do without the influence and guidance of our teachers. Definitely. And a big way that they're able to help students from early on to realize what leadership is and how we can all be leaders is through those leadership classes everyone takes freshman year. We sat down with some of those teachers to get their thoughts on why teaching leadership at CBC is so important. I think it's really important for our leadership program to make sure to capture that and in that freshman leadership course in particular to convey every, to every student that leadership does not need a title. We don't know when those leadership opportunities are going to happen, but when they do, we need to be prepared for them. I think the freshman leadership class provides the, the boys an opportunity to really deal with the transition, the transition from you know, their grade school into the high school, um, a, a transition and in, into, you know, just getting ready for future opportunities that are going to come their way. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but everyone's an athlete at some point, but you lead all the time every day of your life, uh, whether it's your family or whether it's your friends, you're constantly in a position to do something that could be better, and leadership helps with that. Everybody, everybody has an opportunity to lead. If nobody else, they can lead themselves, but they'll get it put into situations where all of a sudden they have to become a leader. 
about teaching leadership class is the fact that it's never the same. We have the same lessons that we try to teach and the same messages we try to get across, but it depends on the group of kids in there and it kind of takes on a life of its own. So I love kind of not knowing, but still kind of knowing what's going to happen every day um, and helps me get to know all the students a little bit better. I absolutely love the discussions. You know, you never know what's going to happen each day, but I think the, the depth we get into and the vulnerability some of these kids show, that's my highlight is just seeing these kids open up and, and you know, never really know where you're going to go, but you get there somehow. It's awesome. It gives them an opportunity to see what they're about, what, what qualities, what characteristics, what pieces of gold are hidden inside that they can bring to the surface, you know, by the time they graduate. Big shout out to those teachers for teaching us all how to make positive change. But the leadership program doesn't just end freshman year. That's right. We have a great opportunity to continue leadership learning and applying the values and lessons taught freshman year for a greater cause in the junior leadership class. That clip you saw earlier of John Jay, that was from one of the many presentations that are given to the junior leadership class each semester, with speakers ranging from the local director of the FBI to a three-star general to an Olympic athlete. A few of those guest speakers were actually asked to share their impressions of the CBC leadership program and the impact it can have. And I don't think I'd be wrong in saying that these clips are more of a testament to the merits of the program than anything I could ever say. Some people always want to debate whether leaders are born or if they're made. I'm convinced they're made through study, reading, learning from others' examples, and continual practice. That's why I think the leadership class at CBC is an excellent example of how to make leaders. Hi CBC, Brandon Mann here. 12 years ago, Mr. Seymour invited me to speak to the very first leadership course, and I haven't missed a year since. Quick question, where were you 12 years ago? That's right, pretty young. But think about this, where will you be 12 years from now? That's where those first leadership students are, nearly 30 years old. Yes, life comes at you real fast, but the leadership course is designed to equip you for the future. Hey guys, this is Rich from the FBI. I wanted to send a quick thanks to you and Sean for having me out to CBC earlier in the year to talk about leadership, and in particular, about the importance of building trust and developing wisdom to give you the credibility as a leader. I have to tell you that the discussions that we had were some of the most insightful and informative that I've had with any audience since I've become the SEC or the FBI St. Louis field office. And it left me with such a positive impression about your character, your competency, and your commitment to others. What's going on, CBC? Good morning. Joe Vitale here. About to hop on a flight with the Blues to Dallas. Big game tomorrow night. Just thinking about you guys. Wanted to give a good shout out to the leadership group and the leadership class. Love my time there. Love talking to those kids. Learn more from you than you ever will learn from me. At the end of the day, you should never forget that Jesus, the greatest leader of us all, um, look to serve and not be served. And that's what it's about, man. Just serve, serve, serve. Care for other people if you want to be a good leader. I just wanted to extend my thanks and my appreciation for all that you do. And quite frankly, my confidence that our futures are in good hands with good men like you. I cannot wait to see what the Lord does through your leadership. God bless and go cadets. Keep learning and growing, all of you brothers for life. So uh, keep her going, go CBC, and we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. Again. We can't express how thankful we are for the people in the community who've taught us, our guest speakers, and the ability to learn about how important leadership skills are for our futures. As we finish off our show for the day, we'd like to ask all of you, both students and anyone else watching, for a small favor. We'd ask that you make sure to thank those leaders and role models in your life who've guided you, whether by their actions or through their words. Let them know how much you appreciate what they've done. Tell them thanks. As our goal here is to help promote community and the good things around the CBC community, let them know that they have impacted your life. Let's try to showcase the love around our CBC community even more. And let's all use our influence to make a positive change. After all, that is leadership. And remember, if there's a story of leadership you think should be highlighted, or any other sort of good news in our CBC community you'd want promoted, don't forget to email us and let us know at show at cbchs.org. Thanks again for joining us today on LA The Show. Be good to yourselves and each other, and thank you for tuning in.